Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a new entrant into the field, at least a new model. We previously saw a 60% released by I Love B. Now, I, oh, I already took off the logo off of this. Um, I bought two of these, one of them I modded and my kid now has. And I probably should steal it back though. I'll just mod this one. Um, this one I've only changed out the keycaps, but when this first came out, it was listed for, I want to say $39.99 or $37.99, but they had a $20 off coupon or some crazy uh, deal. But for the first week or two it was out, it was $17.99 here in the U.S. So many of us on our budget keeps picked up one of these. And I mean, it turns out it is very similar and probably made at the same factory than the RK61, but it's much cheaper. And the software is just about as good as the RK61. Um, and it's a great little kit, especially for $17. Hot swap, uh, wired, 60% per key RGB. Not a bad deal. So since I picked up that one, I was keeping an eye on them on their product page or, or their brand, brand store page because I was excited to see what was coming up next. And the other day, I was I was thankfully greeted with their next keyboard, a TKL. TKL being one of my favorite layouts. Um, now this list for, so I'm not talking numbers off the top of my head. This list for, all right, so this keyboard list for $49.99 but has a $10 off coupon. So basically $39.99, 40 bucks for a TKL. Now it is hot swap, five pin compatible, and this is the TKL. Now it also appears to have a side or front light LED. I'm not sure from the pictures, it wasn't quite clear, but let's go ahead and take it out and see what we've got for this $40 five pin hot swap keyboard from I Love Me. So in the box, we have your standard USB-A to USB-C cable, but it's actually USB-C to USB-C uh, with a little tag, a little tail down. Why Keychron doesn't do this is beyond me. Every time I see this, I'm like, hey, Keychron, please do this. And we also got your standard uh, two-sided wire keycap and key switch puller. Well, we have a dust cover. That's nice. And we have, I don't know, this appears to be, yeah, no, this is definitely different. You can see from the side profile, it has a um, almost like a ledge leg there, and it has side LEDs, huh? So, okay, then it has the channels for the cable to go every which way, and two pairs of feet for three typing angles. It actually, feels pretty good. Um, let me see. I don't even remember what switch combination I got. I think only red and browns are available, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I got reds. All right, so let's pop this out. So these are I Love B red switches. There's definitely some pink in there. Now what do we have inside? All right, it seems we have a very decently thick um, foam layer between the plate and the PCB. It doesn't seem to be anything below there though. So let's see what this looks like plugged in. So it looks like we have decently bright LEDs. Keycaps are double shot, but only top double shot, meaning they're not on the inside of the body, only on top. Take that out of the picture. Let's see what size we're dealing with here. 1.1 millimeter. Well, at least they're more than one anything below that so it looks like we have foam between the plate and the PCB but nothing below so this is definitely going to be something that we want to come back to at some point um, and modify but what does it sound like you can really hear the pain that's that steel plate. Really, I don't, I really don't get it. I gotta believe, I know they say steel is cheaper, but plastic should be cheaper. No, the polycarbonate plate 
should be, if not cheaper, at least the same price or just a tad bit more. I can't really see it being that much more since, I mean, steel has to be mined or, you know, recycled, whereas just make plastic. So, um, I really wish these manufacturers would start moving towards that. Now I do for TKL having that side, our side RGB and I have to put it, camera wants to adjust the colors on it, but yeah, it's, uh, it's like a breathing. It it does look pretty uniform. I like can't really pick out the LEDs individually. But I got to say that I do like that effect. Um, because, you know, it gives you a nice little... It looks like it shines down more on the surface and better than the drop sense. And that's a $350 keyboard. But the drop sense does not make any sense. So... We have a really decently well-built TKL because it, it, it feels sturdy. There's absolutely no give to the case. I'm not the biggest fan of hiding the, the USB port so down deep and having, I mean, the, the USB end actually has these little slots that go in that channel right there. And um, not necessarily the biggest fan of that, but those are just nitpicky. I do like, I, I, I gotta say, I do like the, pro, the side profile too. That how it looks like it has a leg there. Um, so for forty dollars, I've gotta say, I think this is a pretty good deal. I'll do a stock sound test today, and then probably sometime during the day, if I have some time, I'm gonna lube the switches. I'm very confident that I can get it to sound pretty good. It, it, it has a nice, solid build. It sounds nice. Um, I mean minus the ping like i said that one's lubed this one's not so not only does that ping come out from the switch the steel plate also reverberates so it causes that to further amplify but when you get rid of the spring ping the plate should go away especially because it already has dampening between the plate and the pcb and that dampening should help that plate from reverberating at all there we go. There's the light effects. And there's the individual colors. All right, that's easy. So we can cycle through individual colors and we can cycle through effects and change the colors on them. Let me go back to rainbow. All right, so uh, we've got some pretty decent RGB. We have a nice uh, build quality on here. And um, yeah, I. I I think it will be well worth it. I'm going to take a look at the software uh, for the next video, but I'm going to assume it's going to be very similar to the first, which was decent for proprietary software. It did allow for per key RGB, which I know a lot of people like. Uh, and it's nice to be able to match the color you know, of the RGBs to whatever theme you might have. Um, now, the white on here almost looks like a cream in certain light. It looks like a little bit of an off-white. So... And I think they called this retro, but I gotta say, even even though these aren't the thickest keycaps, I think it'll sound pretty good with just the switches lube. All right, wanted to take a look at these stabilizers real quick. Very well lubricated, almost over lubricated, but there's no issue. There's no mushiness, and they're well located on the plate. They've got a good firm grasp. Let's get technical. Today we are taking a look at the I Love B I87, a wired TKL that MSRPs for $49.99, though is currently on sale on Amazon for $39.99 to prime buyers. It weighs in at 926 grams and is loaded with red switches from I Love B and double shot top OEM PBT keycaps in a white and gray colorway. They also have other colorways available. It does have plate and PCB dampening, but no case dampening. The chin sits at 22 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 33, providing for an angle of six degrees for default. Raising the middle feet will give you a raise up to 36 and a half millimeters on the back, changing your typing angle to nine degrees. Using the last and final pair of feet, you will raise the back up to 42 millimeters, providing 
for an 11 degree typing angle. So I went ahead and um, I did the stock sound test and then I looped all the switches in real quick key way. I don't know, I'm, come, I'm, I'm using that <laughs> quick key is because it's, and I'll put a little clip of me lubing the switches. Now I just go row by row. It didn't take me too long. It makes a significant difference. And that's why I think that's one thing that um, manufacturers of keyboards are going to really have to start doing is either, you know, getting, buying switches that are pre-lubricated or lubricating them. Um, I'm not saying by hand, but I mean, even if they just dip the springs in oil before they install them, I think that would make a big difference. So we're going to have a stock sound test of this keyboard, what it sounds like right out of the box. And then following it is going to be a sound test as it is right now with all of the, uh, the, the stock switches, they have been lubricated. So, and it sounds, I mean, it's, it's just, it makes a significant difference. I hope everyone is well out there. Love each other. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keep on.